the working principle of a rubber dropper. Aim. Explain the working principle of a rubber dropper. Materials required. A rubber dropper. A beaker with water. Procedure. Take a rubber dropper. Press the rubber bulb of the dropper by keeping its nozzle on your fingertip. We can feel some air coming out of it. Immerse this nozzle half into the water in the beaker and press the bulb. Observe the escaping air bubbles. Release the bulb keeping the nozzle still inside the water. When the bulb is released, the water from the beaker rushes into the dropper. Now let's check if it makes any difference when the bulb is pressed harder. Notice that this time large amount of water is filled in the dropper. Conclusion Initially the pressure inside the rubber dropper is same as the pressure outside. When the bulb is pressed, air from the nozzle of the dropper escapes from it and a partial vacuum is created inside the nozzle. Pressure inside the dropper decreases. On releasing the bulb, water rushes into the nozzle to fill this vacuum. This is because of the air pressure on the surface of water in the beaker. The harder we press, the larger the amount of air that is pushed out and the greater the vacuum that is created. As a result, more water is pushed in.